What's up, tennis fans? I'm Lauren Lynch, and this is Tennis Now, your source for the latest tennis news now. Though play has stopped, there is still drama going on in the tennis world. Pete Sampras was robbed of some tennis history. A majority of his trophies were taken. Thank goodness it was only 13 of 14 of his Grand Slam trophies, but his 1994 Australian Open trophy was stolen from a public storage facility in West Los Angeles, along with 64 other winner's trophies, including five ATP World Tour titles, two Davis Cup crowns, and 11 ATP Master titles. He also lost some precious items like an autographed piano bench from Elton John and a signed guitar from Carlos Santana. Officials claim the storage facility was highly secure, but Sampras was in shock over the issue. We've had some housing issues and we stored things while we were sorting that out. I was like, what? I thought there was security cameras. I thought these things were locked up tight. I was shocked. The items he lost were not insured because of how invaluable they were, price-wise and sentimentally. We all know what it's like to lose something we treasure, but seeing Sampras lose what he has is a shame to everyone who loves tennis. Sampras said, I'm not one to gloat about trophies or show them off. I've never been like that. I just want them for my kids to see. They didn't see me play, but I'd like them to see these things. Losing this stuff is like having the history of my tennis life taken away. For me to have it for my kids is priceless. I just hope it hasn't already been destroyed. That's why I wanted to get the word out now. I know this is a long shot, but I'd regret it if I didn't try at least. Maybe somebody knows something. That's all I can hope for. The International Tennis Federation offered to recover the loss of his two Davis Cup trophies by offering him a replica trophy in recognition of his outstanding record in the event. Let's all cross our fingers, tennis fans, and say a special prayer that Pete and his family are restored with those items again. Martina Navratilova began her climb up the highest mountain in Africa, Mount Kilimanjaro. On December 6th, she started sharing her experience climbing daily by blog. She began the climb to raise money for Laria's Sport for Good Foundation that raises money for less fortunate children through sports-based projects. She decided she was going to join the Mount Kilimanjaro project after she was diagnosed with cancer this year and was joined by a group of 27 fundraisers including the British Olympic badminton star Gail M and German Paralympian cyclist Michael Tuber. Martina had made it to 14,763 feet of the 19,340 foot mountain on day five when she had to abandon the climb and be assisted down by porters. She's apparently suffering from high altitude pulmonary oedioma and accumulation of fluid in the lungs. Her doctor said, basically, this fluid in the lungs related to high altitude. It is potentially dangerous when someone is at high altitude, but once brought down, recovery is quick. Martina is doing well and will continue to do well. On her website, Nervatilova admitted disappointment over the early departure. I'm very sorry not to be able to complete this journey. We understand her disappointment, but applaud her efforts for such a great cause. Well, that wraps us up for today, tennis fans. Be sure to subscribe to the Tennis Now YouTube channel. Click that button up there. And follow us on Facebook and Twitter as we keep you updated on all the latest tennis news and gossip. I'm Lauren Lynch, and this is Tennis Now. Thanks for watching. See you Monday.